What's up YouTube? It is your favorite mums here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So for today's video, I want to do something a little bit different than usual. We're going to focus in on a method that a lot of people are talking about recently and see if it actually works. We're going to test it out basically. So the method we're going to be looking at is the 5k pack method. It's basically with everything being so expensive right now, non-rare gold, rare golds, um, you know, 83s, 84s, everything really, really expensive. Uh, a lot of people are trying out opening 5k gold packs and you know seeing if they can make profit. So basically what I want to do is we're going to open 10 5k pack uh, 5k packs. We're going to sell whatever we can sell and we're just basically going to see how much profit we can make or if we take a loss and yeah, just see if this method actually works for us right here to help you guys so you guys don't go and do it yourself and lose money or you know maybe it's a good method and you guys can go and make some money. Now quickly before I do this I just want to ask you guys, right? Now, obviously when the next FIFA comes out, we're going to be dropping a lot of content on the YouTube channel. We're going to be dropping, you know, daily videos, road to glory videos, etc. But right now with FIFA coming to an end, the content on the YouTube channel is obviously a lot less. We're only posting a couple times a week. So what I want to ask you guys is, would you, do you want the more meaningful content? Or do you want me to just drop videos like this every day or every second day? You know, because I mean, I could do a lot of videos, you know, I could do a squad builder, a cool squad builder every every second day. And, you know, stuff like this where we test out little little methods, like we test out the 5k gold pack method, you know. I open, if you're on my live stream, we open 70, 80 packs a day at the moment with the grind. So, I mean, I could post, you know, some pack openings and stuff like that. I'm, I'm fine with pack opening, uh, I'm fine with posting that stuff. But lately, I've just been posting only a couple of days a week and trying to make it, I guess, a little bit more meaningful content for you guys. But if you guys want, you know, just daily upload something to watch and, you know, where we do stuff like this, then please, please, please let me know in the comments because we can definitely do that, all right? Anyways, let's get straight into it. So, far, if we're selling, obviously, 10 50K pack, sorry, 10 5K packs, that's 50K. So, we need to try and make back 50K worth of coins just by opening these packs, all right? So, so let's have a look. Let's start with our first one. Now, as I was saying, obviously, because of all the SBCs that are out, League SBC method is really, really high right now. We, oh my God, is that already? That's a board. I mean, put it this way, we're making profit off this pack by the looks things just by a board. That's the good thing, right? You, if you get a board from these, you're basically making guaranteed profit just because of how expensive 83s, 84s, 85s are um, right now. It's the packs where you don't get any boards Yes, non-high rated are up in price, but are they up in price enough, I guess is the question, right? So let's have a quick look. This card's gonna sell for, yeah, so look, this card's probably 5K. Yeah, there he is, 6K. 6K by himself. So so already we are a 1,000 coins in the profit on that pack, which is, which is awesome. That is awesome to see. But we'll sell everything. So I don't wanna hold, like, I don't wanna hold on to anything. We're just gonna sell everything we can. This guy, no way. No, this guy is not 2,000 coins. Oh, 1,800, 13, okay. This guy's like 1,000 coins. Wow, 900 coins. All right, maybe, maybe this method is gonna work. I, honestly, I'll be, give you my honest opinion. Going into this, I know everything sells, but I still thought it would be pretty hard to make all your money back. I still thought it'd be pretty hard to make all your money back, right? I thought, you could probably break even if you get good pack luck. Maybe you could make a little bit of money, etc. But I thought it would be pretty hard. So I'm pretty sure these these are the keeper ones. These don't sell. Yeah, these these don't sell. That's also a keeper one. So we'll just get quick sell those. Now this is the tough part, right? So consumables. Consumables actually do sell if you list them up, but they can take a while. So it depends how effective you want to be. If you want to sell all the consumables, if you want to sell the contracts, if you want to sell the play finishes, these will normally sell, normally not for the 200, but normally people buy them on bid. And if you list up, say 50 of them, you know, you might sell 30 in an hour of the 50. So you're not gonna sell every single one, but you're gonna sell a lot of them regularly. So with that being said, I mean, you could list these up and technically that could be like 300, 450, Another 300 there. I mean, that could be like 700 coins right there that you could make from listing those up. 
So I guess that's what we're gonna decide. Do we add that to our counter? So quickly, what I just listed up then, we made about um, 7,500. So I'm just gonna write this down. So we made 7,500 coins from that pack, plus 100 at the end there from quick sell, so 7,600. That's not including consumables, all right? So I'm just gonna put no consumables, but I'll put a 700 in brackets. So that means like, you know, we could have made 700 coins maybe if we sold those consumables. Obviously with me, my transfer list is always really, really full. So I'm not gonna be selling consumables. But I guess if you're just purely doing this method and you've got a free transfer list, you're not doing the league SBC grind on top of it, you're just purely doing this method, then you're gonna have the space to sell those consumables and you probably could make that extra 700 coins. So, you know, that's I guess up to you depending on how you do it. For me right now, I won't be listing those up as we obviously do the league SBC grind and I always have a full transfer list. All right, so we know it, we weren't as lucky this time getting any boards, but once again, still, I mean, that's probably a 700 coin card, 650 coin card. So that's 650, write down these numbers so I don't, I don't forget. French Legan, this guy probably sells for a little bit. Okay, or not. 450. Still, that's uh, just over a thousand coins made, made back. A lot of these, uh, these cards might sell. Some of these sell. Nuts, nah, so 200. So that doesn't really sell. Doesn't really sell. You gotta honestly, you gotta check some of these kits as well. Some of these kits sell, especially the national kits, I find. Yeah, look, there you go. That that probably sells for like I could probably sell that for like a thousand coins. So always check the kits. I find that a lot of the normal kits don't sell. I guess there's just too many like clubs and you know, people have to go for those specific clubs. But when it comes to nationalities, see so look, 200 coins. So these don't really sell, but when it comes to nationalities, I don't know why, but they usually seem to sell. They actually do seem to sell. So that's also a thousand coins. That's another 400 coins. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna make probably a little bit of a loss on this pack, but not too much. So once again, you've probably got 300, 600, about you know, eight, 900 coins on consumables there. So in total we made from that pack, 1,400, 2,000, 2,500 coins from stuff we sold. And once again, I'll put brackets 900 in consumables if we sold those. So overall right now, we're, we're probably just up from the two packs. Oh, is that? Nah, it's nothing. That's just a rare. I feel like it's gonna rely on good pack luck here. I, honestly, like a lot of people are saying this method works no matter what. You know, no matter what, you're making profit, rah, rah, rah. You know, a lot of people try and manipulate the results as well to try and make it look like they're making profit. So I'm trying to give you guys the, the no bullshit way here. I'm showing you everything live, what I'm selling, what I'm not selling, what sells, what doesn't sell. So that's about 900 coins. So you guys can get a good view here of exactly, you know, if it does work or not. And like I'm saying, I think, you know, obviously I'll give my overall views at the end of this, but I mean, from my top of my head and what we're seeing so far, I reckon if you've got good pack luck, you can make money off this, right? You can make pretty good money off this if you've got good packs. So if you pack a couple boards, it's money. If I pack one special card or like one 87 rated in this pack opening, in this 10 packs, that instantly is like say 87 is like 30K. And that's pretty much nearly made all my money back that I, that I need to make, you know? And then everything else is like profit just about. But if your pack luck is just standard, like what I'm packing here, where I'm just packing a few normal players, no shadows, you know, nothing insane. This stuff doesn't really sell. Then you're not really gonna be making uh, the money, I don't think, or you're, you're gonna be just falling short. So once again, there's about 700 coins in consumables there if we were to sell it. So from that pack, we made 1,700, made about 2,450 
plus about 700 coins in consumables if we were to sell those. So right now, I would say we're down overall. Just though. It's pretty close, but I would say we're just down. Come on, EA. Give us that big pull. I'd love to finish this actually making some good profit. Give me that big pull. That's all I'm asking for right now. I guess one thing this method could be good for, if you are doing a league SBC grind like I do, I mean, it does help to restock the club. You know, you need all these cards. Like, for the MLS, you need this card. For, you know, Man United, you need the uh, McTominay, right? So, ooh, that's like a... All right, there we go. That's like that's like 1,200 coins, 1,100 coins. That's handy. That's not a bad little one there. So I guess it does help to stock up your club if you wanted to just do this. To like, you know, I know, you know how a lot of people do silver pack method just to stock up silvers in their club. I mean, I guess this would have the same kind of effect. 500 coins. So that wouldn't sell. That wouldn't sell. These would not sell. That guy's worth 400 coins. I think I am getting a little bit unlucky here. I'll be honest with you guys. So that's 2,000 coins made in that pack, plus about 600 in consumables if I were to sell them. Yeah, I think I am getting a little bit unlucky here as well, because obviously... The non-rares do sell, a lot of non-rares do sell for quite a good money, but it's mainly the league SBC non-rares, right? So like, you know, your main league ones, your Premier League, your Bundesliga, which I'm not seeming to be packing those. You know, we're getting your Super League ones and your Liga NOS and your Saudi League uh, non-rares, which they normally don't sell. They're normally like 600 coins, 700 coins. It's these ones. So this guy might sell. It's, you know, your center backs, your left backs, your, your main league non-rares. They are usually selling for not bad money, especially if they're in a uh, important, from an important league. So that's a good one. See, these three might sell. We've got two center backs uh, and a cam, but all from leagues that we can use. Now, this might sell as well. This will sell, but is this just 200 coins? Yes, that's basically just 200 coins. Dead Eyes, I'm pretty sure, sell for a few hundred. Yep. Yeah, so Dead Eyes sell for like 300 coins. Let's say 350. We'll list it up for that. Now, this is where we need to try and make some money. Hopefully, these guys sell, man. Ah, even this guy's not selling for as much as I would have liked, but he's about 800 coins. 800. Far out, far out, man. 500 coins. Not looking good, boys. Not looking good. So, so far what I'm seeing is basically if anyone's sitting there telling you Man, I'm making hundreds of thousands of coins, which I have heard. So this is the reason why I decided to test this method is, you know, I, I've, I've, I'm not new to this method. I've done this before in past FIFAs and stuff like that. But I saw, I was in a stream. Um, I won't name any names, but I was in a stream last night. And I was, uh, I was you know, just watching the stream. And they were kind of talking about it. So people in the, in the uh, chat were talking about, uh, hang on a second, that's 2,200 plus about 600 in consumables. So yeah, people in the chat were talking about this method and the streamer started talking about it as well. And, you know, the streamer was saying, oh yeah, you could definitely make profit doing it and stuff like that. And then people in the chat were saying, popping up going, I've made, you know, I've been making consistent money doing this method. I, I've made, you know, 300,000 coins in the last four hours just doing this method, etc., etc. And I saw a lot of people putting in things like, you know, I made 100,000 coins doing this method. I've made 150,000 coins doing this method. And I was a little bit skeptical because I have done this method a lot. And like I said, I'm not saying it doesn't work. I think if your pack luck is good, it can work. But making like that kind of money, 300,000 in a few, you know, in an hour or two, 400,000 in a few hours, stuff like that just sounded very, very unrealistic to me. It just didn't sound right. Um, 
So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to try this out and record it and see see what we can actually get because you know, I think maybe those people were lucky. Maybe those people, but then like is it a good method if you get lucky? You know what I mean? If if you rely on getting lucky, can you call that a good method? So people saying, "Oh, it's a great method. I made 400k in 4 hours." I mean, that sounds very very good right there. It's 100k an hour. It's awesome. But if that person relied on a lot of luck, e.g. maybe they packed, you know, two 88 Raiders in it, which were like 60K each, or maybe they packed, you know, a big headliner card or a big special card that sold for like 150K. So that was like where a lot of their, their money came from. Does that then make it a good method? In my opinion, it doesn't. So a good method is where you can, you know, anybody, whether you've got, you know, from average pack luck to good pack luck, you can make some money doing this method. That, that to me is a good method, right? Not, at least these sell right now. So these are like selling for like 1100 coins. You know, that makes a good method for me. Not, not you know, relying on insane pack luck just to get something. So those don't sell, 150 coins. So we made about 2,400, 2,900. So that's 3,000 from that pack. Plus there was about 600 in consumables. So yeah, on this track, man, it looks like on average, so how many more we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've opened six. I'll open, like I said, should we do the full 10? We'll do the full 10. So I'll open four more. But on this rate, what I'm looking at, we've made guaranteed profit in one pack, the first pack we opened because we got a board, which relied, you know, good pack luck, obviously, to get a board from these because it's not likely to get boards from these or walkouts. And the rest of them on average, we're making between two to 3,000 coins per pack. On average if I sold the consumables in all of them I would say on average we're making between 25 and 3500 a pack which still you know you're losing money aren't you not heaps of money you might only lose a thousand coins a pack but you're still losing money but like I said we'll, we'll, we'll finish off the full 10 we'll tally it up and I'll give you guys an exact amount of how much we have made or lost so we can we can you know be exact with our uh, with our test. So four hundred coins. They won't sell. Man, I'm getting I'm getting pretty horrible cards as well. Yeah, all these ones are already selling for like seven hundred, six hundred, etc. It's probably like six fifty. So that's a very horrible pack by the looks of things. We're gonna make what? There's about 600, 700 coins worth of consumables there. Store those. So in that pack, we only made about 1,800 and about 700 coins worth of consumables if we were to sell them. All right, three more. Have I just lit 50,000 coins on fire, boys? That could be the case here. Come on, give me a walkout. Give me something, EA. All I need is one big walkout, I guess, and, it, and it's suddenly worthwhile. But once again, if I'm relying on good pack luck, not really a good method. That Man United badge should sell. So this guy should definitely sell. 78 rated center back. Yeah, it's like a thousand coins. I feel like I'm getting a little bit unlucky with some of the non-rares I'm getting. Like, I, you know, I do know from doing the League SBC method, there are a lot of non-rares that sell for, you know, 1,500, 2,000 coins even. But I seem to be packing a lot of the ones that are only like 700 coins, 500 coins, as you can see. It's like a 450 coin card. Um, that won't sell, that won't sell. Chelsea cards sell, but not this one. I think this is still only like a, yeah, like 600 coin card. Out of all the Chelsea players, one of the only ones that don't sell that well. And the badge should sell. Normally, big team badges sell. Usually. Oh, 250. Yeah, so look, this card will sell, but it'll sell for 200. 
So sometimes they sell for more the big the big team badges, but clearly that one does not sell for much more. Um, and then we've got about six hundred, about nine hundred worth of consumables sitting there. So that makes it. From that pack, we got 2,000, about 2,300. Now quickly, for how I'm working out consumables, for people wondering, I'm not making it 200 coins per consumable. I'm making about 150 coins per consumable. Because that's what I find. When I, I tried this, because when people were telling me, oh, dude, consumables are suddenly selling, because they normally don't sell these, these you know, bad contracts and stuff, people were like, dude, they're selling now. Oh, that's a... Oh, that was a walkout all of a sudden, boom. Even if that's a board, man. What is that? That's just an 83, but I mean, that could be profit from this pack at least. So yeah, when people were telling me that they were selling, I thought, okay, I'm going to list some up and just see, just test it out and see if they actually are selling. And what I did find is, like I said, if you list up, say, 100 of them, you might sell 60 of them, right? So you do sell a large chunk. You might sell 50 to 60% of the ones you list up. Um, but a lot of them didn't sell for the 200. Some sold for 200, but a lot of them, we just went on bid for 150. So that's why I'm making 150 because I think on average, more, you know, say out of 100, 60 of them sell. I reckon of that 60, 50 of those will sell for the bid price of 150. The other 10 will be 200. So I'm just making it 150 to make it a little bit more realistic. I think giving 200 coins for every single consumable um, just isn't as realistic for people that are going to be doing this, you know, going to try this method basically. All right, so that's about 3,400 coins. So that, that's not too bad. We'll go, we'll go 33. So this is one pack where we might make a little bit of profit, which is handy. PSG, that should definitely sell. At least a thousand coins, surely. Oh, good, maybe even more. 2,000 coins. Yeah, baby, nice, nice, nice. So this is what you need, man. This is what I mean by some of these non-rares sell. Like that's a non-rare right there, 2,000 coins. Um, but once again, I guess it's just if you get the luck of getting those snipers sell, that's probably a couple hundred, 300 coins or so, right? Maybe even more, maybe like four or five. Yeah, it's like 400 coins. 400. So yeah, that's, that's another profit pack. That's only two out of 10 packs though that we're, we're probably going to make some profit on. All right, 600 coins. Add that to it. And this next card's probably another like five, 600, like a 600 coin card, I'd say as well. Yeah, like 500 coins. All righty, so that pack there, we actually made uh, five, three, six, three, six thousand eight hundred 800 coins. So a little bit of profit off that one. And then what's that? About 700 coins worth of uh, consumables. We will take it. Is that, I think we're up to our last pack now, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, last 5K pack to round out the 10 that we said we were gonna do. Can this one bring it all back for us? No, it cannot. No, it cannot. Oh well, I think overall we will be taking a loss, but we will add it all up just to make sure. Maybe if we did sell all the consumables, maybe we, we, we break even. Engine sell, engine sell, I know that. So actually this could be a an all right pack. I know engine sell for at least, uh, they're over a thousand coins, aren't they? So that's 800 coins right there. That's another 600 coins. Good, good, good. He doesn't sell, consumables. All right, here we go. This one, we need this card to sell for a nice amount. Oh, good, it's like two, 3,000. That's awesome. That is very, very good. Far out, I hate when it doesn't skip. Come on, let me, let me see exactly. What are we talking like 25, 3,000? I think we might be talking 3,000, man. I mean, 
I'm seeing a lot of 4,000. Let's go like 3,500. Let, let's just list off like 35. And that's what we'll put down. I'm not 100% sure, but that sells, looks like it sells for about 3,000 or so. So I might have overpriced it a little bit. But we'll put 3,500, give it the benefit of the doubt. This card probably sells for like 800 coins or so. Yeah, it looks like it sells for about 700. Alrighty. So we actually, I think, might have made profit off that pack too. I think we did. 4,300, 49. We did 5,600 plus ooh, a few quick sells. 5,900, let's say. Plus about... 900 worth of consumables. Alrighty. So there you go, guys. That is the packs done right there. Uh, let's quickly add it up. So we obviously spent 50,000 coins on packs. What I want to quickly do now is, let me just get my calculator out, guys, because even though I'm a, I'm a teacher, <laughs> you know, we, let's make sure we at least get this right. I don't want to be giving you guys false numbers. So we made, I'm going to add it up without any of the consumables. So without selling any of the like any of those you know two hundred or one hundred and fifty coin consumables, we made back exactly twenty two hundred, three thousand, eighteen hundred, twenty three hundred, sixty eight hundred, and fifty nine hundred. We made back exactly thirty six thousand five hundred and fifty coins, and we spent. 50,000 coins. So right now we're basically losing 13 and a half thousand coins. Now, if I were to add the consumables to that though, obviously I still think we'd be in a loss, but it wouldn't be a massive loss, I, I don't think. So let's add the consumables to that and say we do give them a value. 100 plus 600, 700 plus 900 plus 700 plus 900. All right. So if we did sell the consumables, it's basically 44,000 coins we made back, which is still a 6,000 coin loss. So basically, we spent 50,000 coins. If we sell everything, including consumables, we're looking at about 44,000 coins back, which is still a 6,000 coin loss, man. So look, this is my opinion on this method. I think it can be profitable but only if you're lucky. So as you guys saw me there, I think I had pretty standard pack luck there, what your average person will get. You know, we got, I think, two boards uh, out of the 10 packs. Two of them were boards, which is probably, I think, pretty standard for these 5K packs. You know, we got an engine some, so we got a couple of okay consumables, you know, some bad consumables, and we lost a little bit of money. I think if your pack luck's good, you're going to make profit, right? If I packed 185 rated card in there, I'm probably a little bit in profit, like a tiny bit in profit. You know, if we pack an 87 or an 88 in there, all of a sudden I'm probably making 10, 20K profit. You know, if I pack a, if I go and pack an, whatever, a special card that's worth 100K, all of a sudden, you know, I could be making 80,000 coins right there. But obviously that is very unlikely. The likeliness of packing a, you know, a good special card or an 88 rated or an 89 rated out of a 5K pack is probably like 1% or less than 1%, right? So it's not very likely. Um, I also think that for a method to be a good method, you need to be able to make consistent profit off it, which I'm gonna say this is a big, no, big L, man. I, I wouldn't be doing this method to make profit. If you're sitting there thinking, you know, people are saying I can make guaranteed profit from this. This is not a guaranteed profit method. This is a slot machine, basically. It's a slot machine. You sit at the casino, if you're overage and allowed to gamble, you know, you spin your wheel. If you get lucky, you win money. If you're not lucky, you lose money. And that's basically what this is. You sit there, you open your pack. You know, if you get lucky, you're going to make profit off this method. If you're hitting shadows, you're hitting hunters, you're hitting some good cards. If you've got average pack luck to bad pack luck, you're going to lose money. So that is my uh, my end result, I would say. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please smash a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments. Do you want other things like this? You know, little, little videos, squad builders, you know, this kind of stuff. Or would you guys only want me to post a couple times a week at the moment and just make it a bit more meaningful content? Um, like our, you know, League SBC grind video and stuff like that. 
Once FIFA 21 comes though, it will be daily uploads and really, you know, a lot of content. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out boys.